We are back with the Renaissance years and my 30 days of Disney. So, Aladdin, the next film of my childhood. If you haven't guessed already, poster in the background, Aladdin is my favorite Disney animated film. Story time with this one. So, it was Christmas time and my whole family is going to the movies. And I'm really excited. I'm like, yay, we're going to go see a movie. I was mad, though. I wanted to see Muppet Christmas Carol. I'm like, and we went to go see Aladdin. I'm like, I wanted to see Muppet Christmas Carol. So I went to go see Aladdin, and I did not leave disappointed. Now, since then, I have seen Muppet Christmas Carol. And preview to my another video, Exterminate, Save, and reshoot, you'll know that I love Muppet Christmas Carol, so regardless of which film I would have seen, I would have been happy. As far as the theatrical experience, I'm glad that we went and saw Aladdin. Like, I remember this film in theaters. It was just, it was magical. It just, this film was made to be seen in theaters. I wish Disney would re-release this Aladdin back in theaters. I want to see it on the big screen again. Okay, when Jafar turned into the snake, that was just, that, mo that moment was really cool in theaters. That was really cool. And I just, I love this movie from start to finish. And a lot is said about Robin Williams and Robin Williams is great as the genie. Robin Williams has given so much. There's a reason why people love Robin Williams and people love the genie. He is great. All of the celebrity impressions he does and everything and the one-liners, I mean, nobody else can be the genie, okay? We've seen other genies and they've been fine. If we try to compare him to Robin Williams, won't have our... You, you can't. You cannot. There will never be another Robin Williams. And if you ask me, the genie is the pinnacle of Robin Williams. Like, if, you, if you've never seen a Robin Williams film or don't know anything about Robin Williams, Aladdin is a good exposure to Robin Williams. Also a fr family-friendly version of Robin Williams. Not everything of Robin Williams is family friendly. Aladdin, however, is. So, I could go on about Robin Williams and everyone's going to agree with me because he was fantastic as the genie. So, so right for the part. Oftentimes in, like, things where it talks about Disney sidekicks, the genie gets placed as the sidekick for Aladdin. I never really saw genie as a sidekick. I saw genie more as a co-star and with a personality as bigger than life than Robin Williams, how could, how could Robin Williams be a sidekick? He is, I've always considered him more of a co-star. And Abu is Aladdin's sidekick from the beginning. And I think Abu often gets overshadowed and often gets forgotten, like, okay? Now, you can't compare Abu to Robin Williams. I mean, and no one can compete with Robin Williams. But Abu is a great character. And I will argue, Abu is the best Disney sidekick. Remember, I didn't say the genie was a Disney. If the genie's in that equation, then yes, the genie trumps everything. But, like I said, he's I've considered the genie more of a co-star. So as far as sidekicks go, Abu is the best Disney sidekicks. For example, Let's take the story of Frozen. Okay, I'm not going to go over the whole story of Frozen. I think most of you have seen it, but think about Frozen. Take Olaf out. Is it the same movie? Pretty much. He doesn't really do much. I mean, he doesn't even... He's not even really the one that, like... There's, like, a moment where it could be perceived that he helps Anna, but really, Anna... She really does it, her, she really gets out herself, okay? It's not really, he just kind of motivational speaker, um, I could melt with you kind of stuff. Very soppy, 
And um, don't get me wrong, I know people love Olaf. Um, if he, a little bit of Olaf goes a long way. I mean, he was made for merchandise, really. I'm sorry, I'm going off on a riff with Olaf. But, with Aladdin, take a boo. Take a boo out of the movie. Aladdin would be dead in the Cave of Wonders. Think about that. Now, you might be saying, oh, but Abu gets Aladdin into trouble. Yes, Abu gets Aladdin into trouble, but he's always there to help him get him out. Before Jafar went in disguise to get Aladdin to the Cave of Wonders, Abu was there, picked the lock, picked the lock to get the shackles off of Aladdin to get Aladdin out of prison. Okay? Okay? Jafar was planning to kill Aladdin either way. Okay, so even if Abu hadn't taken the forbidden treasure and all chaos happened in the Cave of Wonders, Jafar was still willing, still planning on getting rid of Aladdin. So if he wasn't stuck in the Cave of Wonders, he would have been left in the desert. Abu stopped Jafar from killing Aladdin and he stole the lamp. If, Jif if Aladdin was left in the Cave of Wonders without the lamp, the cave had collapsed, the cave had closed up. He would have just died in this empty space. Uh, Boo stole the lamp. Aladdin got the lamp because of a boo. Without Abu, Jafar would have gotten the lamp at the beginning. That's a pretty short movie. So, yeah, Abu's pretty important, and he's a really fun character. Yeah, he gets into mischief, he gets into trouble, but that's part of what makes him so much fun. And like I said, he's there for Aladdin. He gets, he helps Aladdin get out of the jams. Yes, yeah, sometimes he skewers away, but he comes back. Okay? So, when Aladdin got arrested the first time, Abu, was probably Abu probably knew that if he hadn't hidden in that basket, he would have gotten put in prison as well, or maybe put in the, I don't know, put in the royal zoo, I don't know. But he wasn't there to get Aladdin out if he would have been arrested at the same time. So Abu, Abu is, he's a clever little monkey. Okay? Yeah, sure, as an elephant, he has a hard time getting, getting bananas. I'm sure if you haven't seen the film, you're very confused about what I'm talking about with the banana bit film. And if you have not seen the original Aladdin, go out and see the original Aladdin. Now, while we're on the subject of Aladdin, I now haven't given my thoughts on the new Aladdin. It took me two viewings before I decided I did like it. But here's the thing, like, the parts I liked in the new Aladdin were actually the parts that were not, apart from A Whole New World, which is just nostalgic. Like, I love A Whole New World, and I, I did like A Whole New World, and the, I, I pretty much just felt the, I went on, I, I got taken on a nostalgia ride with A Whole New World, because that, that song is, it, it, it's nostalgic joy. Um, apart from that, Whole New World, the parts I really liked in the new Aladdin were the parts that were different, the parts that were, okay? Um, I liked the new character, Dahlia. I thought she was a fun character, so when it would try to be its own film, I liked the movie better. When it was trying to recreate the animated Aladdin, I didn't seem to like it as much because I just couldn't help like, oh, it's just not as good. Um, so if it had been its own film completely and hadn't done anything the animated film, um... I would still say I doubt I would like it as much as the film because, like, there's so much childhood memory connected to the original Aladdin. Um, I mean, it's just, it is my favorite animated Disney film. I love Aladdin. I will always love Aladdin. And, you know, maybe part of the reason I loved Aladdin so much, like, it was the first story for me, like, I mean, not that I don't like the heroines, Belle and Ariel and going back to Snow White and Aurora and Cinderella, but Aladdin was like the first guy who was the main character. And I was a kid, and so I'm seeing this guy that's just kind of, he's, he's going on his journey, and I'm like, yeah, this is kind of fun. 
So maybe that is one of the other reasons why I connected with it. And then years later, I connected again with Hercules. So I'm a guy, okay? So I do like to see guys, but I do like the girl stuff too. Like I said, Giselle's my favorite. I love Giselle. I adore Giselle. Um, but um, Aladdin has been near and dear to my heart, as these other films of the Renaissance are. Maybe not as much. Maybe in different ways. Little Mermaid obviously is very impactful to my life. But Aladdin is my favorite animated Disney film. And that is the Pope's perspective.